oil pickups in. Got all the uh, cogs and sprockets all lined up. Take note, there's a lot of information, but you've got numbers here, like there's uh, two digits there, line up. This one here, it's two five for that tooth. Looks like a J, I think it's supposed to be a five there. Um, so when you rotate it around, you've got one here, and one you follow it down, in between the two ones on this sprocket. Um, that's only got one bolt at the moment because the um, the timing cover will go on and then I'll have a bolt in there line up there's a little key in there um, come down here this washer here has got F the same as that one it's got a facing out um, there's another little key there that lines up on this cog and you can see a three and there's two threes there one dot there two dots uh, so they all line up, that lines up, come around, that lines up, come around, they line up, and then they line up there, and about to go to the timing chain assembly, and I've got that top bed centre, so this cylinder's, I've just got it just slightly protruding, um, you're allowed in the specs, can't protrude any more than a certain half a millimetre or whatever, um, in behind here, you probably can't see it, I'll just grab my torch, I couldn't remember if I'd lost a, um, a, a screw, a grub screw, or a bolt, but in behind there, there's one, and another YouTuber I got onto, a uh, guy from overseas, um, he, uh, he sent me back a message said yeah it's just an oil oil feed so that one in there that one there will be a timing cover bolt so um, just take notice of that um, yeah I put the backing plate on first and then started assembling the rest um, what else the oil pump they do say to prime it with um, grease pull the back off first prime it with grease um, that helps pressurise it when you start up, helps pump in the oil, but uh, my, my screws, I couldn't get them off, so um, I've just left it as. It's the only thing I didn't really pull apart. Hopefully it doesn't blow up. Time will tell. Um, yeah, so I'm putting the timing chain guides on at the moment. So I've got one side on, about to slip the chain on. Then the other guide, which is there and continue hopefully after that the um, timing cover can go on kill that with a bit of rust killer a bit of vinegar and um, yes buttoning up nicely timing chain has 49 links this particular chain, I've only got where the join is. Some have an actual, uh, like a, a discoloration link there. And up the top, they'll have two discoloration links here, like a, a black one and a black one. So you've got two marks there. Um, so yeah, 49 links. So that's the 49. And then it was uh, 24 up to there and then from down from here down I counted 24 to here and all my marks line up these little white dots there's punch marks in there numbers this one here um, yes these ones down here this one here the um, there's a mark where I've got that white dot I've gone covered over it but there's a little dot there so that's where that halfway link joins up. Um, these ones here, obviously. And then with the, uh, the injection pump, there's a, um, a T and an N on the back with a groove, and you've got to line up. Uh, this is a turbo model, so the T with the groove 
to the turbo model. Uh, that's where we're up to. About to put the um, the bracket on and the uh, injection pump. Gasket, full gasket uh, set rebuild. So I've got two had a head gasket complete um, or head and come with the head gasket and then I bought another one. Forgot that I had the two, but anyway uh, oil cooler. Oil cooler. So Gasket kit full apparently. Three, the O rings, and the outside gasket. That's it. Um, the two in the centre, they're pretty good, so I've reused them for now, and had to make up a template and buy some gasket maker paper and make up the two. So if you do get a gasket kit, full kit. For the oil cooler assembly just make sure that um, or double check you're going to get these two gaskets and two o-rings this is the um, the veins inside so this is where the actual oil will come out that hole in that hole out that hole and go through that one back out so that filters so that's how it goes and around the outside is the water chamber so the water's running around while oil's in the center and there's veins we can't see it in the camera but there's veins inside so each one of these plates you can see through is actually hollow in the middle so that's where the oil runs through pressurized of course and um, with water around the outside it's helping cool it so just make sure that um, you check your your gasket kits and uh, about to put this on <laughs> 